Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can make something like this in Photopea. It's like a manipulated logo, basically. Um, I was just like messing around and I made this and uh, I thought it looked pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it in this video. It's kind of harder than my usual tutorials, so keep that in mind. But you should be able to get it done either way. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, down in the description below, there will be uh, the pictures that I used in this tutorial. So if you want to follow along with mine, you can, or you can just use your own pictures and just follow some of the stuff I did. So let's start out by going to new project and type in 800 by 800 because that is the size of a picture, profile picture, hit create. And here we are, we're ready to begin. So the first picture I'm going to be using is a picture of a forest. So here's my forest picture. I'm just going to resize this um, to where it's big enough to fit the whole canvas like that. And I'm going to move it over to like right. Let me make this a little bit smaller. About right there. Looks pretty good. Hit that check mark to uh, confirm it. And now what we're going to do is type some text. So go to your text tool. Type in like the letter of your, like the first letter of your YouTube name or anything you want to do. Or you might even be able to do this with your logo if it's PNG and just plain white. But I haven't tried that yet, so I'm not sure. And for the font, we're going to be using one called Tenet, I think. Yeah, this one. Because it has like a tree vibe to it. And it's going to work really good. So let's change the size to like 800. So it's big. Maybe uh, 700 actually. Now what we're going to do is double click on or double click on our text, change the color to white up here, hit that check mark, make sure it's in the center like this. Now just go into the folder in the description or just look up tree texture and bring on that texture photo. Resize it to where it's bigger than your whole text. And then right click on it and click clipping mask. It'll clip onto the text. So there we go. Now it looks like a tree. So double click on your C or whatever your letter is. Mine C in this example. Go to bevel and emboss. So we're going to be changing a few things here. I'm going to turn the depth all the way up to a thousand. I'm going to turn the size to 50. I'm going to change this color down here to brown, like a dark brown. I'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees and I'm going to turn this opacity down to like 54 and that should be good there. Now we're going to go to inner glow. We're going to change the um, blend mode to color dodge. Change that color to white and um, turn the opacity to about like 48 and turn the spread and size up. It's going to be different depending on the size, but if you go with 800 by 800, it should be like 9 and 24. Somewhere around there. And that should be good there. Now we're just going to add a drop shadow. Go ahead and click on that drop shadow box. Blend mode is going to be normal and the opacity is going to be like 70. Make sure the color is black and make sure that angle is 90 degrees now i'm going to turn the distance like all the way up to about 400 so i'm just going to type in 400 to where it's like right below it actually we'll even go 450 or we could just manually make our own shadow but let's just turn the opacity down a little bit more on that 66 works fine okay so i think that's good here um let's just hit okay now so we're done with the text for now. So now you're probably like, it doesn't even look like it's meant to be there. Well, that's why we're going to add some cool lighting effects to it. So in the description with all the other pictures, there's going to be a sun effect. And it's basically going to look like this when you first bring it in. So we have to change the blend mode of it to screen for it to look like a real sun. Now, if you hit control alt T, you can edit free transform this. Uh, let's try it again so we can make it a little bit bigger like so we want it to make it look more realistic 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little um, clipping mask, hold shift, click the text. And also your clipping mask has to be right above your text or else it won't work. So just hold shift, click both of them, right click on it and click merge layers. So this will be one now, which is nice. And uh, you won't be able to edit the text though once you do that. So just be ready whenever you do that. Now what we're gonna do is go down here to this little half circle, go up to curves, and we're just gonna go up on this line a little bit and down on this line. So now the lighting's starting to um, look more realistic. Now go to the sun layer, go to the half circle, go to brightness and contrast. And what we're gonna do is like negative 20. We wanna make it dark so it has more realism because if it's super bright, you can obviously tell it's looks fake um, so that's why we're making it a little bit darker contrast about 36 and there we go now it's looking more and more realistic now what we're gonna do is go down here to this half circle one more time this time go to vibrance turn the vibrance to about 20 and uh, the saturation to about 11 so there we go um, you don't have to go that crazy with it so but I like to have some saturation and vibrance just to give it more color, but it's really personal preference. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the text layer, click on the background layer. Let me delete this. And we're going to go over here to the blur tool. It looks like a little water droplet. Click on that, hold shift and right click and just move your mouse uh, right. And we are going to blur out just the background. It's gonna ask if you wanna rasterize it, click okay. And we're just gonna left click and drag to blur the background. And you'll see it'll look really nice once we're done. So there we go, the background is blurred and it's looking realistic. Now if you want, you can go back to the curves layer and um, how do I get this to work? It's bugging out. I think it's uh, here in a uh, layer. You can move the bottom line up a bit so it's not as dark, but you can see the difference with and without it. So I think it looks really good and that's going to nearly conclude the video. I almost forgot one more thing. Double click on your background layer once more. Go to gradient overlay. Click reverse and then go to uh, radial. You might have to use your X and Y to um, make it centered. Now just change the blend mode to multiply, turn the scale up and you can turn the opacity down to the way you like it. So you can hide it and see what it looks like before and after. And I like it. So that's going to conclude it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did leave a like and subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel if you like scary games and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.